Welcome back. David Petraeus' testimony on the Hill ends a week that began with heated words for the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and an equally heated defense of her from President Obama. That's this week's News Nation political postscript. For them to go after the U.N. ambassador, who had nothing to do with Benghazi, and was simply making a presentation based on intelligence that she had received, and to, to besmirch her reputation, is outrageous. By the way, I'm not taking anybody on. The American people have lost four brave Americans. We owe it to their families. We owe it to other Americans. For the President of the United States, for two weeks afterwards, to deny that that was the case is either a cover-up or it is incompetence, either one of the two. He made it clear that there was significant terrorist involvement. And that is not my recollection of what he told us on September 14th. He was the head of the CIA who put together the information. He personally didn't brief Susan Rice. And joining me now, NBC senior political editor Mark Murray. So, Mark, we know that the week uh, started with this scandal with David Petraeus' affair. That's taken a backseat, probably rightfully so, to the president's first press conference, its first news conference since re-election. And now uh, this issue uh, regarding Benghazi, the ongoing investigation. Well, that's right. Uh, is, and uh, Tamara, this is just one re week removed from last week's presidential contest, and it shows you that politics uh, is still alive and well here in the nation's capital, even after the presidential contest. And I think you look back at the entire back and forth over the Benghazi situation, and you, w what is now coming out after these meetings, I just got an a email statement from Florida Senator Bill Nelson, who essentially said one of the things that was made clear at today's meeting was that Susan Rice, when she was giving the CIA intelligence that she did on all those Sunday shows, that was what was seen as the intelligence at the time. And of course, there were a lot of different moving parts and here and there what was going on. But bottom line, uh, the, what Republicans have actually been talking about and criticizing was that the administration didn't have its whole act together, didn't have all the information straight the very next day. But at the end of the day, they actually had the story down within two weeks. And so that is really where the story is. And uh, you, there is the argument to be made that it, particularly that maybe the Susan Rice confirmation if she's picked to be Secretary of State, uh, that this might be the last that you end up hearing from all of this in a political context. So you've got that new statement from Senator Nelson, but that is likely not to the interpretation, at least it wasn't even yesterday, from Senator McCain and Susan Collins and a few others. Well, and that is right. And of course, it will be interesting to see what a lot of Republican critics are saying after the briefings that they've had over the past two days on the subject. And every indication that I've actually seen is that the information that was given not only to the White House, not only to Susan Rice, but also to Congress at that those very early uh, few days after that attack on September 11th was the intelligence that they had at the time. Mm. Of course, things do change. Uh, but at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is that a, a fireable offense? Is it a controversy? Is it a scandal when information does end up changing? All right, Mark Murray. Thank you, Mark. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Thanks. on Monday.